Christopher Mosley here. It's been about two weeks since I have left my job and been full time with the photography. And let me tell you, it's so much of a blessing and so much of a burden off my shoulders to know that I'm doing exactly what the God, what God put me on earth to do, man. I've been so focused. I've been so blessed. I've been so peaceful. I've been so just liberated throughout my soul, man, to be doing this full time now. And uh, follow your passions, man. Whatever God puts you on earth for, don't don't settle. Don't fall asleep at a desk and, and, and lose your passion for life and lose that fire. Not to say that there's people that are, aren't designed for that kind of destiny to be at a desk, but if that's not your calling, don't settle for that, man. Get up and do what it is you want to do with your life, man. Uh, I got a photography class coming up. I'll put the link down where you can sign up for that class. Um, Use the promo code EARLYBIRD to go ahead and sign up and get a 10% discount if you want to learn about photography in the Birmingham area or surrounding areas. I'll give you a discount if you want to travel from Atlanta or Tennessee, a couple of hours for a drive, so I can teach you what it is I know. My baby girl is feeling under the weather today, so I'm at home with her. I'm back to vlogging now. I'm sorry I took a break. I had to get my life situated. That's a big jump, but I'm back now. Let's get it. Downtown, man, headed to Railroad Park so my baby girl can play. She been feeling a little sick. So we got her out the house. We gave her some soup and some medicine. She feeling a little better. I think she just needs some fresh air. Sometimes you just need some fresh air, a change of environment when you get sick, man. Instead of just sitting in the house and nursing that cold, you got to get some fresh air. So we pulling up to one of the nicest parks here in Birmingham, Alabama, which is Railroad Park. Hopefully I can grab some good B-roll footage, man, and create a good vlog here while I'm spending some time with my baby girl at the same time because I definitely don't want to sacrifice quality time for trying to film a vlog, but we'll see what we come up with, man. Y'all stay tuned. Man, craziest thing just happened. We at the park playing, the weather is okay. And I saw the sky getting kind of dark, but I ain't expected to really start raining. It didn't really look like rain weather, but started pouring down raining on us while we at the park and cut our park trip short. 
but we still gonna enjoy the rest of the day. I gotta stop by the post office to mail some uh, graphic art flyer work off to a customer or a client. And um, we got a couple more errands to run, but yeah, that was kind of crazy. Maybe that's normal some of the places where y'all stay at, like Arizona, Phoenix, and places like that. But for here, sunburn. it's sunny and raining. You're not sunburned, dude. Yeah, it is. Sunburn. It wasn't that sunny. It's sunburn. Sunburn right here. No, it's not. No, it's still red right here. Okay, we gotta go get you some ointment. You want us to go get some ointment for it? No. Come on, let's go get your juice. You thirsty? Yeah. potato chips right here I'm trying to tell you man ruffles hot wings potato chips ooh bussin boy bussin try them out now I'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you they bussin I'm telling you they bussin now it's raining a lot yeah it's raining now we got home just in time yeah here's all my juice did you got your chips eh? I ate all my chips as soon as we got home, it started raining good. Yeah, yeah. Good, peaceful and, rain. And I didn't drink all my juice. Come on. Man, while I got a little free time, check out this Pelican case, man. It's got a special technology called Pick and Pluck. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but case is specifically molded to fit your camera or whatever it is you want to store in it. And then um, you mold it, basically. Now I have molded this kit to fit my Canon 6D and the Canon 24-105L series kit lens, the first version. Also the 35mm lens I can put in now, here. Now first of all, I bought this kit to force myself to be a minimalist. To stop trying to bring a bag pack full of gear that I didn't need. So I bought this case to force myself to learn how to live with just a camera and one lens and get it in. Stop trying to bring everything with you. And also I just wanted to test this brand man as a, as a travel case. Um, I read good reviews, but you know, until you handle a product, you don't really know exactly what you're getting. Now, this is pressure sensitive, perfect for people that get on flights and stuff like that. I wanted to test it out, so eventually I'll upgrade to the Pelican Air case. That's $300, which is out of my price range at that moment. But um, if this one goes good, which it has so far, I end up upgrading to that Pelican Air case that will hold every piece of gear that I own. But so far, nothing but good things about about things about this case. But if you want to pick this up, man, Best Buy Pelican IM2050 is the model number. Uh, 65, 70 bucks at Best Buy, man. Nothing but good things for me so far. And it forces me to pick one camera and one lens to bring with me. And I've molded it to fit my Canon 6D and 24 to 105. Now, I will say I can put my 35 millimeter L series F1.4 lens in here, two batteries two memory cards in this bottom part and I'm good to go that's all I need to take with me say for instance on a trip or I'm traveling I don't want to have all that stuff with me it just simplifies your life to have a small kit and then you can throw your laptop and a charger for your camera in another bag and that's all you need but yeah remember good things for me man Pelican Keep, keep up the good work. I am back at home, man. And not to keep bringing this up over and over again, but I have so much free time now to do the stuff that I need to do personally and for my business to advance myself and to improve my business and improve my brand and improve the people around me, improve my vlog, product reviews. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up straightening up my desk over here and uh, get a wedding done that I've been needing to edit. Um, because I have actually I have weddings back to back to back to back for the next month or two for the whole summer So there there's one wedding that I want to get done and edit it and out the way because it's been on my computer for a while But I want to get to the point where as soon as I finish up a product project I'm editing that project when I get home and for the next couple of days and I can move on I don't want to have stuff sitting on my computer and I'll get it done when I get it done one Two days. As soon as I get home, I'm caught up. Everything is thorough to the point. So I'm going to knock this wedding out 
and I'll be caught all the way up besides some project that I still need to finish filming. But as far as stuff that I've completed filming, I'm going to be caught all the way up, man. And that's one of the perks of what I have done, man, and, and where God put me. I want to keep stressing that this was not something that I just decided to do. I mean, you'll see one day God will control you and put you where he wants you to be. And if you're praying and if you're in that Bible, you know you've done the right thing. You'll have no regrets, man. But yeah, let me get this dead straightened out and we can go from there. actually feeling very accomplished right now I finished that wedding I was editing uh, my baby is feeling a little better we're gonna give her some more Tylenol and one more dose of Motrin to take her to the, through the day um, I got a video shoot that I got to finish up tonight on an ongoing project that I'm working on a stupid dope video project for one of my uh, one of my best friends my frat brother his name is Fitz P. Theo you got to check his music out man fits man check him out it's called i'll be broke it's gonna be a dope video man we got a lot of concepts going and we wanted it to be something that you could tell we took multiple days to film man but obviously the birds don't want me to vlog right now so that's probably gonna be it for vlogging for the day but uh i'll see y'all tomorrow man I, I got a lot of stuff going on this weekend too i'll see y'all next time